All right, we should be good to start. It's just going to be cutscenes for a little bit anyway, because we just finished the Blue Moon tournament. And it is time to go to Naxa, or Naza, whatever it was. <laughs> and get our debriefing on how somehow we're the only person who could save the world, even though the, the other tournament absolutely happened. And there's definitely someone who participated in that other tournament Sex and won, averted. but we'll never see them and we'll never mention them and they won't have anything to do with anything. But don't worry about that. Yeah, you probably just take that. That's fine. That's not part of the display or anything. Formation. Ah, in formation. Oh, right. Yeah, let's let me check the email. See how Junk Soul even works because we didn't have time last time to see. Because actually, I don't know anything about it. Ornamental chips, such as Rock Cube. Is that the official title for those kinds of chips that, like, put down objects? Ornamental chips? Uh, such as Rock Cube, service sacrifices for Junk Soul. So, already worthless because it requires putting things down. It reminds me of uh, Colonel Soul. Object or obstacle chips. Okay. Uh, when United Mega Man causes enemies to be confused, I assume that's... I mean... Maybe in PvP that would help you? That doesn't... I can't imagine that affects the AI. <laughs> uh... Poltergeist or Poltergust. It could be a pun or something. Uh, you can select a junk chip. Most people only use this just to pause the screen with charge shot Poltergeist. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, been used during the battle in the custom screen. Junk Soul both destroys and recycles. So you can use a chip that you've already used? I don't know. I'm probably barely ever going to even get to see this because I do not use the obstacle chips at all. It's the same reason uh, I don't like Colonel Soul. Because using Colonel Army requires that. So it makes your charge shot Poltergeist, which, if there isn't an object on the field, does nothing. Okay, I didn't know that. It turns objects into projectiles, and if none are present, it doesn't do anything. Okay, wow, yeah, it's even worse than I thought it was. <laughs> oh, dear. I have to ask where you held at gunpoint to make to play this game. No, no, no. I mean, if you count bribery as gunpoint, then I suppose so. Yeah, people have told me that the only reason Junk Soul would be useful is there is an exploit that lets you use dark chips without draining HP. So he's your son. Like, as, as if... How does nobody know who the fuck Lan is? <laughs> how does nobody know? So TLDR, junk soul is junk. Yeah. Is this a mod? This is the Battle Network Legacy Collection, friendo. If you're wondering why the text is different. Lan and one other. I will not mention who they are. Again, like, I, I've seen people assume that if you play Red Sun, Eugene wins the Blue Moon Tournament. And if you play Blue Moon uh, Rika wins the Red Sun Tournament, but again, it just doesn't... They never mention it, so... Ah, 
I should, God damn, I... That was a dramatic hydrate. I, I keep forgetting. I need to make it a sound instead. Guys, when chat's moving faster, I just completely missed the hydrate. Sorry about that. Aliens. It took us till the fourth game. Like, Battle Network went a decent amount of time before introducing Ala Mouse. Second run, nope, this is the first one. This is far too dangerous. Think of the input lag. The only one that could do it is you, Lan. I don't know why we held the tournament. We almost let Junkman win, could you imagine? Rip Junkman. But Lan, Dad, we have this argument at the end of every single game, please. Just let me do it. The other competitor is doing hard math to plot the asteroids path. Now I'm just imagining that Dex won the Red Sun tournament. Wow, that is really fucking loud. So were Cyberworlds always a thing before Navi's if there's one in the asteroid? Uh, I've seen people theorize that. I theorized that even in my video, I think. That perhaps the Cyberworld is some kind of alternate dimension that kind of existed already? I, I don't know. Because that, here, here's the thing, and why I support that theory. It would make a lot of the dumb shit. News to my science crews, somebody build this stupid killer death rock and we can hack it. <laughs> I think uh, that it being it kind of its own universe would explain a lot of the dumb bullshit that happens throughout trash. the series. Where you fucking belong. Like, Navi's needing to breathe, and all sorts of weird stuff like that that no one in their right mind would have programmed in intentionally. By the way, in the anime, Junkman is just floating around outer space collecting space parts. Only appeared like three episodes and he went at the UA. Ah, he got cars. I see. It humanizes them a bit more, so you don't just treat them like a random collection of bits and data. Sure, but like, they don't need to breathe. You know, you didn't need to invent cyber air. I'm sure that creates a lot of issues when it comes to coding and such. There we go, blue moon. Whoosh. I'm on flames. <laughs> but they do need to cyber eat and talk. Navi's get depressed, they have feelings. For sure, like that stuff, positive things like that, that help them seem more human, sure. It's just funny to imagine, like, Tadashi pro purposefully programming Navi's to, like, drown. <laughs> Like, he'd have to do that. He'd have to spend days, if not weeks, coding that system.
Blue Moon drains three ahead. I actually don't know how the Blue Moon trip works. Maybe Wily suggested that. <laughs> No, it makes them more realistic, you see. Check directly into nets around the world and fix them. Yep, okay, now we gotta do the thing. Oh, sorry. Hello, Dr. Regal. Oh, thank God, they can keep track of Mega Man, good. What a totally helpful addition. Wait a minute, who's keeping track of Nah, never mind. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine. How Blue Moon works, big fucking laser three squares ahead. Ah, okay. Also Pierce's invisibility. Cool. Oh, right, I forgot it unlocks all of the places, even the ones you haven't been to. I was going to say, why the fuck Sharo there all of a sudden? Hey, John, don't forget to save after cutscene, hell. Also, would you mind jobbing on this first random encounter? No particular reason. Hmm. I'm a, I'm a little suspicious. I'm a little suspicious of this request. Okay, so, uh, I actually don't remember where we're going. Like, so just start here and just tear through the whole internet and check. Because I don't remember any of the specific places. <laughs> where would you run to, Haruka? I appreciate the emotional support. But where are you running? <laughs> Wait, did you make sure that you got your black bomb Z chip? Just I did. Checking. Remember kids, always carry a big bomb into your next playthrough. Run to make the dinner. <laughs> so this is all the gates, right? Or is that five? I genuinely can't remember. <laughs> the gates are far. Okay, yeah, this is we got to destroy all those gates, right? Okay. Uh, thought it was bulk bomb. Yeah, I've I thought it was bulk bomb as well. Apparently, it's supposed to be black bomb. I've, Thanks, abbreviations. Uh, okay, now what was going on? Someone said I should die in the first random encounter. Is there a reason for this? <laughs> Before I stand around and let these things kill me? Or is someone just being a funny haha? This is gonna take a while. I think you're winning him a bet. Oh, you are, you're not misusing the power of chat, are you? How dare you? I trusted you. I trusted you all. And you're abusing your chat powers. <sighs> guys, this Met's really tough. I don't... I don't know if I can beat him, you guys. <laughs> I'm... It's pulling me.
The Dark Soul. It's got me. <laughs> I just kept shooting. <laughs> I didn't realize it went on that long. No, see, you guys, I'm doing a plot run. I'm trying to make the game make a little more sense. See, now I have fixed Battle Network 4's entire dog shit narrative by having Mega Man succumb <laughs> to the chaos. <laughs> That's all it took, funnily enough. You saw that, Matt. He was coming right for me. I didn't stand a chance. Does the one HP drop? Yeah, you just have one, one HP missing. We have 429 HP now. <laughs> what the hell? What is, what is this nonsense? There's gotta be an invisible path somewhere. He's dark. I used one chip. Forever tainted. You know what this means? Max damage number ball. Are we really, are we really that concerned? Okay. Fine. What a are you piece happy? of shit. Zero out of 10. Fuck you. <laughs> this game sucks. Use the zero card? I did use the zero card. Didn't you see me use the Z saver? That's what you get from the zero card. Why the fuck am I even here? Are none of the gates on the, the town side? Keep watching. I'm sure I'll get the zero card eventually. I'm sure it'll pull up. Yeah, you get a, the zero battle chip. Well, we gotta be here. We gotta do, uh, we gotta get that mystery data anyway, so. Might as well grab that. It was one joint, John. What's the matter? Not even once. Do I have, wait, do I have an unlocker? Before I, okay, I do. Before I bother going to get this. And then we'll go to all the nations. I did it. Sex averted. There it is. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's actually useful. It's HP memory. Instead of some weird battle chip with a goofy ass code I'll never use. Time to save the world. Wouldn't you want an X code mega cannon? Yeah. <laughs> Boy.
boy, I hope I hope you guys love this song because you're gonna be hearing it for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. I'm just gonna walk into your top secret facility in the middle of nowhere and uh, you know root around your computer. Don't worry. Wait, talk to people on the second floor. Oh, hold on, is there something here before we go? Oh. Speaking of Zero, it really sucks that the one we got in Network Transmission never shows up in the games outside of Network Transmission again. Cause ah, I really yeah. like the design. Okay. Yeah, no, it sucks that we don't get to see Zero. Okay, so there's a little bit of lore there. We still don't get to see who it is, but... They're doing very important math calculations just off screen. You, you wouldn't know the other tournament winner. They uh, they go to a different school in Canada. Yeah, imagine winning a tournament to save the world and then getting stuck doing a bunch of math. Ah. I still have not figured out the timing for that. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, thinking that might need physical damage of some kind. Because <laughs> I pressed counter and it did uh, nothing. <laughs> Closer, buddy. I always thought Naxa was located in Shero because the second floor looks almost identical to what Naxa had. Yeah, it's like they uh, might have been reusing some stuff. Don't think about that, though. Uh, okay. No, just the Naxa program. Bam. Navi customizer program. There we go. Words. Are you a Navi from the Sharo Space Center? Literally the only way you could have got here? This is a very interesting folder code combo you got going on. Well, it's actually, it's, it's B, F, and G, but I threw the Z ones in there because we have the Z Saber, and then also the Z is for um, if we need to use Aqua Soul. Because I must always have the Spout Boy with me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, literally just handing out passcodes to anyone who asks. And you wonder how everything gets hacked in this fucking universe all the time. Not sure if we're playing Mega Man or Doom. Why else would you mention the big fucking guns? Oh boy. Exciting enemy layout. There we go. Super Vulcan V code, uh, maybe. I think so. Oh, yeah, we should change the color of our stuff since we are on a new stream now. Let's see what we have. Let's we'll switch the menu from something other than the world's brightest looking shade of pink. Let's fix that. Let's see. 
What colors haven't we used? I think this red one is the only one we haven't used yet. Yep. All right then, red it is. Cool. What could be going on? What what's what's happening? We're cut off from the net. How about a phone call? John, check out the volume two review on Steam. Your review is on there for the collection. What hold on, what does that mean? No, yeah, the contrast is too high. I'm gonna have to lower it in post or something. I don't know if it's causing some like Steam Deck settings or something. The contrast is slightly higher than it should be, and I'm not quite sure why. Oh, it just eats through the, the wool. I know it normally eats through guard stuff, but I didn't know that. It means you made it to the big leagues, John. Oh, like someone else uploaded it, or? Credit to Dr. Regal. He cuts off access to the net as a minor part of his plan in 4, realizes, hey, that worked out pretty well, and then does it again in 5. That may be why I wasn't sure if, uh, we had done this in 4 or 5. <laughs> Alright, come on, I can get it this time. Nope, I can't. <laughs> I guess you could say that John is Mr. Famous now. Hardy har har. Check Discord for the pick. I'll take a look at that in a second. Jesus Christ, it's all viruses now. What is this shit? Yeah, why, why did someone post that? What a well-balanced battle chip. <laughs> Thanks, Django. I said that's gonna be really good for Duo and his obnoxious ass fucking uh, hitbox. <laughs> Okay, so can someone, because I've only done it, I've done it like twice. Can someone like give me an idea of when in the Z, in the, in the saber combo I'm supposed to press the button? Because then you're supposed, you're supposed to hold A and then you press back and B, but like right as it comes out or like right before it comes out or like what's the, what are we, th what's the timing on this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Just a big fucking laser. I know that's what you said, but I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Orbital strike inbound. Uh, okay, yeah, there's no more gates in this area. Hydrate after that fight, yeah. <sighs> C 
calling it a fucking opsat is uh, thirsty work. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if there was anything here that we might need to pick up. Blue Moon has less range than Red Sun, but it does uninstall on whatever enemy it hits. Oh which wow. It really only helps for Dark Souls, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> BTW, Johnny Boy, if you want, you can jack into the top computer and share OHQ for the shortcut there. Okay, yeah, let's make a shortcut before we leave, because again, we have to fight all the bosses and do everything. To make sure we can get 100%, so we should open up the shortcut now. Uh, just do I do I want to hear something cool they did? Sure, why not? I don't think I ever jacked into this computer when I played this for the review. I don't remember this layout. Oh, there's some kind of side quest here. Okay. I've accidentally run into extra content. You no longer sacrifice the chips you use to light the torches in Cold Man scenario. Oh shit, is that confirmed? Or are you just pulling my leg? Because that seems like a weird thing for them to have fixed when they didn't fix anything else. Um... Hold on, <laughs> can we not do this yet? Okay, sure. He just said you need to find the heal navy to get the code. I thought he was saying the the code for the homepage, the link. Silly cob, you have to come to Undernet 3, talk to the guy here, and then you get the thing from him to open the security cube. Oh, for also, fuck's sake. I don't think you sacrificed the chips in BN4 to begin with. I don't know. I, th I thought you did, but again, that's probably one of the other 700 scenarios where he sacrificed chips was just... That's probably what I was thinking of instead. Another completely pointless series of flag events just to stretch out runtime for no reason. Awesome. I did it. Sex averted. It's so weird. Like, they... In the fucking trash! Where you fucking belong. The benefit of this whole playing the game three times thing should have been that they could remove all the padding. All the padding content should have been removed because, well, you have to play the game three times anyway. But they didn't. They kept all the normal padding bullshit that's in all the other uh, Battle Network games on top of having to play the game three times. That's one of the things that's most frustrating about it. Remember to walk into dead ends where we might accidentally encounter a secret refight. so slightly mistimed it.
But then you'd miss out on all the clever dialogue and character nuance, yeah. Like, Chisa was the bad guy all along. And, boy, Match really wants to fuck the lady who works at the hot dog what stand. A piece of shit. Zero out of ten. Fuck you. This game sucks. Get countered, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what that dramatic sting was for, but. I swear, they put all these extra dead ends to fuck with you, because they know you gotta look for everything. What just... I used the counter battle chip and it just blew up a completely unrelated enemy from the one that was actually attacking me. <laughs> counter hits whatever is in the middle of a counter for... Okay, so hold on, hold on. The counter chip has to be used like how you counter enemies normally. Like you press A when they are in their frames for countering them. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, it's hard when I remember him. I see his face. Rip the boy. Rip the boy junk, man. Who would have thought Junk Man would end up being the best character in Mega Man Battle Network 4? It's a... <laughs> They just killed him. They don't just kill anyone in this fucking franchise. But they were like, nah, nah, Junk Man needs to die. Here, let's put a let's put a single junk chip in. What do we have? Oh perfect, an asterisk rock cube. Perfect. Let's put that in. People died in Battle Network 6. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm trying to remember who died in Battle Network 6. Oh, God damn it. Colonel and Iris? Uh, yeah, I guess. In DM5 and 6, they replaced counter chips. That's kind of sad, I guess. That has a range of three squares. Ah, okay. I mean, I'm kind of, that's kind of sort of sad, I suppose. But, uh, nothing compared to the homie. I'm, I'm just sorry, Iris needed to be on screen for more than five minutes if they wanted me to give a shit about her. <laughs> Iris is such a complete waste of a character who's only, like, one of one of her only character traits was basically removed from the game before, like, they never elaborated on it. Her whole crush on land thing is, like, not at all present in the final game. 
It feels like there should have been way more stuff with Iris. Fucking foreign devices coming into my country. <laughs> Yeah, the stalking. Yeah, she stalks Lan, and that means something. Like, again, I understand. You can extrapolate character personality from what we have, but in the, like, the actual literal context of the game. Ooh, just in time. to be the waifu without male around. That's what it Not feels like, honestly. It feels like they had to be, well, we need girl. <laughs> Lan needs girl to hang out with. And he doesn't even really hang out with Iris till the very end of the game. Money. Good shit. Because the earn rate on cash is fucking terrible. By the way, Johnny Joestar, in 4.5 after you fight base at the end of story mode with Aquaman, Aquaman turns to the player and starts telling you off for making him go to dangerous areas and tells you that you better start treating him better or he'll slap your kneecaps off. Drip. Well, have you, have you been treating him correctly? World's too dangerous to be a spout lad out here these days. It's just, like, what even... As she is in the final game, like, what does Iris even do? Like, what... How would the story be different if Iris wasn't there other than there wouldn't be someone to kidnap? For that really forced scene where they fucking beat the shit out of Barrel. <laughs> Yeah, she says robots stop being angry in that one scene. <laughs> like, other than the callback with Colonel. We need a very kidnappable girl who's stupid. Yeah. I don't... I think we have everything here. I think we can just do the gate. I think we have everything we can get here for the moment. She brought land the copy bots, no? Well, here's the thing. What I mean is, like, from a writing standpoint. Like, from a writing standpoint, those copy bots could have just been there. Oh, no, there is a C slider here we didn't do. You know what I mean? Oh, that'll help with the chip grinding. Did we do the Kendo Man rematch? No, we have not refought Kendo Man yet. I have not found his uh, encounter spot. Come on. Damn it. I was holding forward, hoping I would go forward fast enough and I could hit all of them before they got their what hats am down. I fighting for? Zero X4. <laughs> He's in the C slider section I was just in? Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, right, that's a break chip. It hits. I forgot. <laughs> I was waiting for the helmet to come up. Okay, let's do this, and then I'll uh, go fight him. Come on. Yes, I did get it in time. Good. Bonk. You fool, you couldn't even see me. You've been bamboozled. 
Iris being a split part of Colonel was a plot point, so you can't really have that without her. It, I guess. It could just as easily have been, like, some kind of hidden program, you know what I mean? Like, so much of the games is like, we need to find the super secret program to, to do the thing. Like, they could have been a program named Iris that was, like, hidden somewhere or had to be reconstructed or something. I'm just saying I wish they... But the bottom line is just I wish they did more with Iris. She feels like a waste as she exists currently in the universe. I gotta remember this is a V2. He actually does damage when he hits me now. <laughs> I gotta be more careful. <gasps> I know what'll help me through this trying time. The spirit of Junk Boy well, lives on. To go again. In the fucking trash! Where you fucking belong! Iris was class president. Is that true? You could be completely making that up, and I would have no idea. <laughs> I'm lucky that he seems to activate this whenever I have Invis up. <laughs> Iris was prom queen, and the prom is tomorrow! <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of Yeek, have you seen the Oni Plays playthrough of Yeek? Uh, I saw a little bit of it. I have not watched all of it. It's hard to stomach Yeek, no matter who's playing it. Oh, that's still counted? Fuck you! I was gonna trap him back there, but even though he wasn't on the panel anymore, it still registered him as being on the panel. Fuck off with that. Okay now! Stop dashing, you cunt! And now I'm gonna die. Oh shit, Invis, good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go, this should get him. Yeah! There we go. Beat your own ass, buddy! That was super good fight. Absolute top tier stuff. Man, I'm so good at Mega Man Battle Network. <laughs> that is a very... <laughs> Like, the difference between the first fight against Kendo Man and then that, simply because of how much more damage Wait, he does. you won. That wasn't supposed to happen. Good job anyway, I guess. Oh, shut up. I did it. <laughs> Sex averted. Okay, um... Wait, which of these are left? Does it say...? Oh, the park. Park, probably, right? We didn't do the park yet. Oh, 
almost every boss in this game becomes a complete trash fire once they upgrade. Yeah. Since you didn't get Proto Man on game 1, you didn't get to see the funny glitch in his AI that occurs because he can't use Step Sword. <laughs> That's that battle number 4 polish. I was trying to assassinate you by pointing you towards an unnecessarily hard boss fight, but good job, I guess. It's only the international places? Okay. <sighs> Stupid shit. Congrats, John. You may end up fighting his Omega version again every time you pass through Netfrika. Yeah! Also, you can't flee from Omega versions in BN4 until you win or lose. Just like Quickman in Kotobuki area in BN2. Did I not... Did I miss the gate when I came here the first time? I swear I was here already. What junk man do? The junk soul? You have to have more uh, element, uh, not elements, obstacle chips on the field. And you could use those to attack? I don't know. We'll probably check it out at some point, but, uh... Biggest of oops, forgot that you will now be haunted by a man in Offrey, I mean Netflix, waiting <laughs> to shove his train stick in you. Straight to the bonk dimension. Kendo Man, owner of the bonk dimension. What a piece of shit. Zero out of ten. Fuck you. Oh, this game sucks. Cover 50, that's not terrible. Yeah, here it is. I think I got distracted by looking for sea slider locations and forgot. Fuckers just love teleporting at the last second on me. There we go. Cool, I just destroyed the floor and none. Now none of my battle chips can hit. Awesome. John, what do you think is the worst double slow double soul slash cross? Um, again, I've only used uh, a little more than half of them, and I'd have to think about it some more. But off the top of my head, <sighs> number chaos, maybe. If we're counting chaos forms. Because number man's primary gimmick requires you to the primary gimmick of the soul requires you to pull the menu back up. So unless you have a very specific... I think... Here, here, let me get this. Let me say this. I think any of the souls that require an entire folder to be built around them are bad. Colonel Chaos is... Yeah, Colonel Chaos is really bad. Yeah, Colonel, I said earlier, yeah, Colonel is also really, really fucking bad. Because, again, an entire, an entire folder of obstacle chips. What makes Colonel so bad? It revolves around uh, obstacle chips instead of chips that actually do damage. Uh, his primary ability doesn't work without it. And the one thing that uh, Colonel gets otherwise, his um, screen divide, you don't get in the chaos form. I think cha his charge shot changes to something else, I believe. Okay. 
yeah, it changes into that dark sound confused thing. And you can't, yeah, you can't arm change his chaos because you can't open the menu back up. So everything that makes Colonel Soul even usable is just gone and replaced with the confusion thing, which I guess maybe in PvP that'll do something. In PvP, it, it's probably helpful, but... <laughs> okay, we're both trespassing. That's good. It, it is absolutely a shame how painfully mediocre to outright bad uh, Colonel's souls are, considering how cool of a design he has and all the cool stuff they could have done. Through the Undernet! You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> Damn, if that just ain't the whole series right there. <laughs> While Proto Soul is just boring, I haven't played either of the games that allow me to use Proto Soul yet. Uh, I had Team Proto Man when I was a kid, but I did not beat that game. Never got that far. Come on, all of my chips will hurt this this precious mystery data, and I don't want to do that. God damn it. Come on. Nope. Move back. There we go. Nope. Can't. I thought it went... I'm hoping it might have went one square later than that. Have I mentioned how much I hate these fucking guys? Any of the viruses, really, that are programmed to just any panel except the panel that you're on. Any row except your row, that's where they want to be. <laughs> oh, wait. Is there a shortcut can, with the, the C slider? Can I get there from here, or do I have to go through the other way? Why are they all viruses now? I have to go through the other way? Okay. I thought there was a shortcut here for some reason. Another green mystery data save.
for oh magnum v that's a very angry looking battle chip <laughs> Let's just go back in from here. Why not? <laughs> You're replaying uh, Battle Network 4 at the moment yourself. Guess who the first person you fought in the first tournament was? Is it possible for Gutsman to be if the first fight? Know, Johnny Boy. <laughs> All viruses that have gone extinct, as in cannot be encountered, now have a single grayed out chip. Aside from canon, oddly enough. I did not notice that, actually. I'll have to look at that. Next time we're going through chips, I never noticed that. Oh, you're playing Blue Moon. Uh, shh. Yeah, I don't know then. Where am I going? Don't I have to go through Netfrica to get to the Undernet entrance? Or am I hallucinating again? Key to town area four that you have to use to get to the internet. Okay. Okay. Why is the net so fucking confusing in this game? I have played this game twice, and I understand I'm not really paying... It's kind of my fault, because I'm not really paying attention to dialogue, because I'm streaming, and I'm reading chat. But, like... Why is the net so obnoxiously laid out? the shortcuts to Lance PC. I don't know. It's like... I don't know. In most of the other games, the net feels like more of a straight line that progresses as you go along. But this one feels more like it's a central point and then everything branches out from there. And the, because of the scenarios, the order that you have to go to all those areas is completely random. And they all, like, circle back in on each other. Oh, wait, no, hold on. This way. He jumped over. So if, if that's as easy as it is, what is the issue here? Why do we need these keys? Is it because Mega Man's a short king? Also, thank you for the follow. Okay, I remember this room now, yeah.
Of course, I, I was like, well, I might get double, but I'm not going to get triple, and instead I get none of them. <laughs> Just the one. Hug the right wall, Johnny boy. Alright. Grabbing this. Wind rack, A. Hey. Is there anything here? No, that's just the. A nice wind rack. <laughs> Oh, hush. Perfect for wind soul. Be silent. So wait, do I have to... Do I have to do something with that purple Navi who's over there before I go through the internet? gives you something. Okay. Buy him a beer. It's Battle Network 4, so yes. Time bomb. Top part of the right wall. Okay. Um. Yeah, of course. More invisible paths. Thank you. I need the emotional support right now. Well, I guess the confusion does affect viruses. They just sort of, uh, do whatever. <laughs> In the fucking trash! Where you fucking belong! Yeah, let me use the charge shot. <laughs> One more time! Yeah! Thanks, Junkman! Couldn't have done it without you. Ball. Ball V. A lot of high tier shit that's V in this game, huh? What's up, buddy? Not bad, kid. I haven't talked to anyone in three years. <laughs> oh, the second Gundel Soul. That means, uh, hold on, actually, isn't there a, isn't there, is there a program advance you can do with these? There's a third one, okay. I thought, uh, this was the third one, I didn't know there was a Gun Soul 3. Okay. You need to beat the Django quest, alright. I did it. Sex averted. <laughs> Boy, I sure just don't love fighting Mets forever. For all of time. Nothing but Mets. All Mets. 100 years Mets. What a piece of shit. Zero out of 10. Fuck you. This game sucks.
I'm realizing the enemy variety in this game is actually pretty fucking bad. <laughs> I love Mets, but... Evolving again. I love Mets, but goddamn. It doesn't help, too, that, like, variants are locked behind the New Game Plus cycle. So, like, not only are you fighting the same enemies, you're only fighting, like, two versions of those same enemies. If we're gonna do is subscribe for three months. Hey, John, I decided to, to make a three-month subscription, both to support and kind of apologize for the crack I made during one of the Persona streams. You're all good. I, I don't even remember what you said. <laughs> uh, but thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Billy. My precious boy. And his stupid stun shot. Airhawk wins again. Also, someone's first time chat was a, was a shill command. Welcome to the stream. Also, thank you. <laughs> Man, I really like how the internet looks in this game. There's some games like Battle Network 6 where it looks uh, really bland. But it looks it looks really cool and menacing in this game. I like it. Oh, it's this part, right? <laughs> okay, I remember what we're doing now. <sighs> this might be the first positive thing I've heard John say about Battle Network 4 in a year and a half. <laughs> that was one of the few positive things I said in the video. I think the music and the design for the Undernet is probably my favorite Undernet design, the one that's in this game. Let's go! Yeah. Oh, I know you had super armor, unfortunately. Gundel Soul. Our absolutely brilliant plan of murdering literally everybody. Because human nature and it's something like that. Darkness. Whoa! Why didn't he just lie? If he was just gonna do this anyway, why didn't he just lie? It's not like anyone calls Lan or Mega Man to check what happened. He could have lied about this 20 minutes ago. Said, oh, transmitter stopped, Mega Man's dead. Why didn't he just propose Laser Man be sent instead of going with the net battler plan to begin with? Uh, yeah, that's a good, very good question. <laughs> You think Dr. Hikari would be more emotional if Mega Man actually died, but he knows his son has protagonist armor. Yeah. His son, as far as he knows right now, his son fucking died. And he's just like, oh, Lan. You could argue that 
Yuichiro is smart enough to know that Regal's a suspicious boy because he does figure it out eventually. It takes him a little too long, but he does figure it out. <laughs> Oh, right, this part. <laughs> With the, the horrible text. I don't even know how to describe what this is. Just word salad coming from Roll in this cutscene. Does this count as Glide doing something? I, it counts as him doing a third of something. He needs to build up a couple more before he could combine them into one something. How anyone looked at Regal and was like, you seem above board and trustworthy is beyond me. Well, here's the thing. They don't. They say almost immediately that, boy, Dr. Regal is a weird, shady piece of shit. We should keep an eye on him. And then no one does. They just let him do everything in the second half of the game without questioning him. <laughs> To be fair to Dr. Hikari, if he can turn one son into a Tomagachi, why not the other? <laughs> oh, he'll have a set. He can play both versions. All right, we... What time is it? Oh, we still have plenty of time. Uh, hmm, that's something that we should do. So how do you, here, let's, let me, let me ask this. How do you upgrade the blue moon ship? Like, I know you have to play online, but how does it actually work? Which version you playing, Lanny X here, Hub EXE? Winning PvP. 500. Yeah, we're not going to be upgrading it all the way. That's not going to be happening. I'm, ba I'm basically saying, would there be any point in us playing some PvP right now? To maybe upgrade this a little bit. Or something. Quick, get this man 500 PvP wins. Stat! <laughs> We'll figure it out. We'll figure out what to do with that. So, huh. I guess we just go do the undernet. John, you were amazing we in the way you handled Kendo Man. It blew my underwear off. <laughs> no doubt you have the skill ready for PvP. Don't Smash mock them. me. Does it need to be ranked wins? I have absolutely no idea. No clue whatsoever. In the fucking trash! Where you fucking belong! Down to dive instead of blue, instead of red sun for you. We'll have to do that some other time. If it's... <laughs> hey, Achievo. Uh, for excessive jacking, apparently. But um, if it, that'll have to be another time if that's that many. Like, is that how is that not a joke? Five hundred, not just five hundred PVP matches, which is already like what the actual fuck. Five hundred PVP wins against the opposite version. How is that even remotely feasible? There might have been something there. 
Yeah, excessive jacking. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with excessive jacking, please consult your doctor. Wow, the green Mets. I'm shocked. I didn't expect to see them here. I did it. Sex averted. For excessive jacking. <laughs> I thought jacking was good for you. <laughs> Do you have Woodman W? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I think I fought Woodman. Let me check real quick. Yep. So, John, you're a micro celeb with an audience. Abuse your power for funny giga chip. <laughs> we will. Uh, so, at the moment, uh, I don't really have anything specific planned here. Like I said, we'll only be streaming for about another hour anyway. Because I'm going to have to go. But, we kind of just need everything here. Like, any enemies that are unique to this area, I need their chips. Any of the mystery data that's here, I need to pick it up. Ooh. Ooh, I found one on accident. I don't have... Oh, fuck. I don't think I have an unlocker. Damn it. I'm a net dealer. I can't believe that I opened shop here. <laughs> oh, my God. These are very, a lot of very expensive battle chips. <laughs> I don't know what the green means. I, I think it means I think it means they're a battle chip. I don't know. Because <laughs> I thought it had something to do with whether you could afford it or not, but the HP memory is solid, so... It means you've never owned it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I didn't know that. That's, that's helpful to know. I actually didn't know that. All right, hold on. Um... We should get some unlockers before we look through there. So who, where would be the nearest person who has unlockers? Does anyone know off the top of their head? Because they can't, just, for some reason, they don't just let the sub-chip people have every single chip at the same time. God the forbid. The shops means that you currently don't have the Topia Coliseum, code, thank not you. Not that you never owned it. By the way, if you intend to do the Boktai side quest, I think you're going to need 10,000 zen. Yeah, I'm going to have to grind a lot of fucking money. It's going to be bad. Dost thou obtaineth the top man seat? I have not refought top man yet. He is in town one. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll, let's go do that real quick. If it's in town one, that's not even that far in. So let's do that, and then we'll go check out the undernet and grab some shit. I'm playing Battle Network one. I keep getting money instead of chips. End of my suffering, please. Yeah, money is a lot easier to get in, uh... But like I said, in Battle Network 1 and 2, I had basically no problem with money whatsoever. But I can see it being an issue in some of the some of these later games. This is not one and done. I have to 100% this for, uh, Patreon reasons. So I figure it'll uh, it'll hurt less if I stream it. <laughs> hey, where is uh? Is the last expand memory in the undernet? One 
of the downward dead ends in this section. Okay, okay. Undernet too, okay. I, I thought I remembered it being in the undernet, I just wasn't sure. No, let your buddy come forward. Move out of the way. So that's super cool. One of the expand memories is in an area that you might not even have to go through, uh, go to in your playthrough. That's cool. That's neat. Awesome. Let me hydrate before uh, before this old man shows me his top. He's gonna take his top off and throw it at me. <laughs> Don't block me. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I've said before, do not feel bad about using Buster Max in any of the games. The games have some absolute time-wasting bullshit. Did you fight Top Man? I thought you fought Spark Man. Yeah, but someone... Is the person who said that I could fight him just wrong? <laughs> Which I don't blame them for. Everything's wrong. I thought maybe the game was generous and you could, you know, fight the navvies you didn't even get in the tournament scenario so you could actually 100% it. Of course not. Of course you have to fight them in the tournament, so you can't even grind all the chips in one go. Awesome. Sick. Can't fight any. I figured. Hope. I figured. I guess that's my fault for figuring that. In Battle Network 4, they would let you do the ghost navvies at least. So you could do them all in, you know, one go. I guess not. My fault. It's my fault. I, I believed in Battle Network 4 for a moment that maybe they wouldn't make something as annoying as possible, but I was wrong. Thank you for the follow. What a piece of shit. Zero out of ten. Fuck you. This game sucks. Unless you use Dark Soul, there are some Navi Chip versions you can't even get until <laughs> Run 3. Oh my god. Uh, I actually know, as, as I'm sure you're noticing, I know very, very little about the post-game content in this. Like, I did not touch the post-game content at all. Like, not even for a second when I did the reviews. Not even like a little peek out of curiosity, just no. No, no, I don't care. What? Oh, it's not your fault. Like, I'm just used to conflicting information about this game all over the place all the time. Don't feel bad about it. <laughs> it's not the first time and it won't be the last. There are DS Navi chips, I assume Dark Soul Navi chips, which only come from beating a Ghost Navi with a Dark Chip, but they appear as mystery datas in the post-game's final area. Awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. I absolutely meant to do that. That was 100% a big brain Battle Network play right there. By the way, John, there's a program advance that can only be used in Dark Soul. Pausing for dramatic effect. What the Still fuck? Pausing. You have right. to use. I th You've probably said something angry by now. Oh, shut you up! Can still put it together outside of darkness state, but you can't actually use it. Okay. Snake M. I can't believe I got japed like that. <laughs> Oh, 
Trying to not destroy mystery data. Dear to call Nabil like a fiddle, or something. Azul has top tier plays, should be a chess master with those secretes. I hate this. There we go. You better be something good, Green Mystery Data. Metagel T. All those T chips I'm using. Thanks. <sighs> I searched about the Blue Moon chip. It only takes 100 wins to max out Blue Moon and Red Sun chips, but it's based off your win-loss record. Meaning for it's possible the chips to get weaker if you lose. <laughs> Meta yeah, Metagel is good. It's just it, I'm not using a T code for anything currently. Oh, Billy. Oh, my mistake. I was thinking about the damage value going up to 500. Yeah, no problem. Like I said, I just said, what did I just say? That, that's what these games are. These games, they scramble your fucking brain. I swear, in the other games, it feels like this barely happens. But in this game, I feel like we are constantly, constantly getting green mystery data viruses. <laughs> also, fuck off, Billy. What even? I don't even remember this enemy. What is it? What is this shit here? Like, I, I remember the spider. I do not remember him doing this. What the? I just kind of remembered his design. Get the fuck out of my house. He wants hugs. Yeah, I got him in time. Hell the Spectre! With the tier 2 sub for 23... Another person! Waiting ever so patiently for their golden two-year badge next month. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Nothing under here, okay. Oh, recover 80 with an asterisk. Hole followed by an asterisk. No one will uh, do anything immature with that, I'm sure. I did it. Sex averted. <laughs> Dead. And 400. That's the thing, like, we're in the undernet. Double delete S rank. Uh, like 300 monies, maybe? There's the expand memory. In the fucking trash! Where you fucking belong! Alright, hold on. We're gonna have to... We do have... Sp I think we have spin pink and spin white. I think. Man, the Buster thing kind of, uh, 
I mean, this thing. The body pack's kind of completely destroying our ability to uh, use any of the stuff we might have here. <laughs> Why do I not have undershirt on? It's in the it's in the body pack. I uh, that's the very first thing I asked too when we put it on. Like this has undershirt in it, right? We haven't really, again, we haven't really been buying programs because there is a severe Zenny deficiency in this game. There is collect 10 CP, but you need 42 bug frags to get it from park area 3 through C slider. Oh, yeah. We have uh, 18 at the moment. That's going to have to wait. Uh, but no, but like I was saying, we just haven't, we don't have that many programs because we just can't get them. <laughs> I, I forgot how bad the cash situation was in this game. Oh, fucking hell, I got big brained, you guys. He activated it the second I pressed forward. <laughs> Serious question, John. Have you come to resent Mega Man Battle Network because of how much people want its content from you? Um. I don't. Thing, I don't resent the games themselves. Yeah, I got outplayed by a trumpet. Uh, I don't resent the games themselves. I, I will say I do get angry at people who come to unrelated content I make just to ask me for more Mega Man videos. Like, that, that pisses me off. Like, I'll post something like, hey, guys, gonna be doing another dot .hack thing or something. And then the five, the five or six assholes who show up and ask when Star Force is, or when Zero Three is. And I like when you guys are, it doesn't bother me when you guys do it. You're like, oh, you asshole. Uh, like you're obviously fucking around when you ask me when is Star Force. <laughs> like that doesn't bother me. <laughs> I, I can tell when someone's memeing about like Star Force <laughs> rather than actually being kind of a dick about it. Yeah, Starfoss win. <laughs> no, but for the most part... Oh, well, hold on. Let's see uh, if we have room for that. How big is that program? We getting the Star Force review soon? <laughs> okay, yeah, we actually can fit this in. Hold on. By the way, Junk Man is right there in the corner next to you. Oh, okay. I just figured you were making the zero videos of the holiday releases, which you're, you're all for. We support good edge boy Haseo in this house. Ski e Eve. <laughs> Ski e Eve. <laughs> but, uh, no, what? Currently, I did not mean to open that back up. Currently. Uh, the plans are Star Force, which should be out in, like, late May. Um. Then, probably Zero Three. I think I'll do Zero Three next, because Zero's been a while. After that. And then after that will be Dot Hack Volume Three. The boy's back. The boy's back. John Woodara thought some Star Force and Legends getting legacy collections. Uh, thoughts on Star Force and Legends getting legacy collections. Star Force, again, the. 
I'd say this would have to sell really well, but this seems to be doing really well, this collection. So, um, possibly? And again, Legends is... Legends always sold bad, and also Legends is going to be a lot of work for them to uh, make for a modern audience. They're going to have to do some control changes and shit like that. Yeah, the old, Star Force also didn't sell well. The only reason I think Star Force may possibly have a chance is, like, if the Battle Network collection sells, like, 2 million units, then they, they'll probably do Star Force. Ooh, he stayed still for the bond. Also, I'm going to die. And I did not get a healing chip from that, so yeah, I'm probably going to die now. I don't know if I want to hear about any dreams that I might have been involved in. <laughs> Wait, hold on. If this does 200, then... Yeah! Okay, just barely. <laughs> just barely got him. <laughs> Thanks for the chip, Junk Boy. He's a guy- wait, HP 450? Do you- Does your HP regenerate when you do those secret fights? That's cool. That's a nice way of offsetting the fact that they're basically invisible. The official Navi you're looking for is right there to the northeast. He has the PC code. Okay. God damn it. I hate you, you fucking stapler. Loops around, there's nothing up here. Ah, there's the boy, he's down there. I will get to him eventually. Okay, come on. Oh, the lamp guy. Got it, yeah, there we go. And we got the lamp, yeah, nice. I don't even remember this enemy existing either. <laughs> he looks friendly, but I'm not sure. Okay, that leads to another area. I we don't want to go that way yet. Sex averted. Hate you have to do three playthroughs, and if there's any items you miss, you're out of luck. Yeah, it's disgusting. Oh, well, that's a laser, so I kind of figured it would, you know, just just go through. But I guess not. What input is that? Oh, uh, that's not variable sword. That's uh the, for the zero sword. Uh, with the Z-Saber chip, if you hold A when you activate it, so, like, press A to activate it and hold A, and then right as the, the third attack starts, you need to press backwards and B at the same time. It's taken me quite a while to figure out the timing on it.
you guys aren't gonna line up, are you? How would you rank the battle networks in terms of story? Uh, three. Uh, <laughs> two, may maybe, kind of. Uh, three. The, the my answer is really three. Um, three is at the top, four is at the bottom. Anything else in the middle is whatever. They all have nice moments, but so many of them don't. So many of the stories are just bad shonen stuff that like doesn't make any sense. <laughs> or like giant obvious plot holes. Or they're they're kind of generic. It's they're fine. They're fine little well, shonen stories. Chips. They consume the panel of their type to hit more times across an entire row. This is two hits on a boss and five hits on a virus. If they move through the stream of the attack, it hits even more times. You can use that to bully shape my Omega. Yeah, I'm hearing about a lot of hits. So I think there's some shenanigans here. Why did I do that? I needed to move back up. There we go. What was Capcom thinking when they implemented the New Game Plus's requirements? Yeah. You're not big brain enough to understand the complexity of Battle Network 4. Oh, you're Mega Man. Yeah, wow, someone who actually fucking recognizes us. Thanks. Ooh. Bunch of money. Normally I'm like, oh, money, who gives a shit? But like, goddamn, we need to buy so much stuff. <laughs> Trying to, trying to keep this place mapped out in my head. There's, there's a lot going on here with all the teleporters and everything. What does the Annalie mean in base Annalie? I read it as an, I read it as anomaly. I think it's base anomaly. That's the only word I could think of that would fit there. Okay, this is another... Oh, God, there's two fucking... Of course, there's two paths through here. So I'm gonna have to go through here and then make sure to remember to go back. In the fucking trash! Where you fucking belong! Oh, this is... Okay, yeah, this is what Roxas was telling me before. Roxas told me the other day, hey, do I remember the undernet layout uh, from Battle Network 2? And this is... Yeah, this is one of those rooms. I what recognize it from the many, many hours I spent in the shit. fucking post game. Zero out of ten. Fuck you. This game sucks. The room is scarred into my brain. <laughs> so Popcorn Gamer 99 is asking for your dark voice from Yu-Gi-Oh, which I didn't know you could do. My darts voice from you. Oh, <laughs> no, don't don't tell anyone I can do impressions when I just do sh shitty voices sometimes. <laughs> Remember Battle Network Undernet 2? It's back in pog form. I know <laughs> recycling entire maps. I know, right? Yeah, what kid is gonna know the word anomaly? What the oh, what? Hold on, what is all this? But this is just a regular random encounter. What the fuck is this bullshit? I 
hell is all this? Welcome to level 3 viruses in game 1. This is the most cursed encounter in the Undernet. What is this shit? What the? Long now people are asking for the voice. Okay, hold on. I just have to... I just have to avoid the spider. I just have to avoid the spider! Don't touch me! Did this just turn into an SMT game? <laughs> okay, we, we should be fine. Oh, those hurt! Oh, I thought those just stuck me in place! I didn't know those hurt! <laughs> oh, that's bad. And that- I'm gonna die. Couldn't move forward. <sighs> Why would they hurt? It's a fucking spider web! Why do they do 100 damage? I can't believe I got spidered on. Finally, it's about time. One death equals one sub. Oh, not the return of one death equals one sub. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Soko. Let me hydrate as well to calm down a bit. Why wouldn't it hurt? It's a virus freaky looking spider. I guess. It could have glowed or something or been a weird color. I did it. Sex averted. Nice. Nice. What's wrong, John? You didn't expect surprise level three viruses out of nowhere. In yeah, what the hell's going on? Specifically designed to bully you for moving. Did I mention there are two formations of that fight in this area? Yeah, I, I took like five steps to the right and suddenly top tier viruses are coming out of every orifice. Probably the most embarrassing KNI death. Death by spider butt. <laughs> See, like, there's these guys, and then you step a couple meters to the one side, and it turns into even higher tier versions of enemies. They just fire instantly. It's who would have thought the strongest battle that we're gonna be would just be a guy that shoots. <laughs> the strongest foe in Battle Network is just fast gun guy. <laughs> Why didn't Wiley think of this sooner? Yeah, exactly. It's just Mega Man. Me Mega Man's greatest weakness is Mega Man. <laughs> Air hockey doesn't seem so broken now, does it? Yeah. The viruses in Battle Network 4 are absolute cheeks. Way more relentless than most in the series, save for the Dominoes. Jesus Christ. to the black earth okay that's all right yeah that's that's end game end game stuff this is uh this is not a thing i can do right now
Oh no, I don't just have the, the gun soul to tear through this. These are quite the fucking enemy configurations, I gotta be real with ya. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake! Yeah, these are very spiteful enemy configurations, absolutely. Oh, fuck you! He was on that panel! Get bent! There we go. Maybe your memory is whack. Uh, I could have sworn... Where you fucking belong. The end game area is called Merkland and not Black Earth. That was one of the weird things I pointed out in the video. Like, they mention, like, oh, Merkland is this awful area shrouded in darkness in the Undernet or whatever, but then there's no place called Merkland within this game. <laughs> I can see why you don't shame Buster Max. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> don't don't be afraid to Buster Max, especially when you're grinding. The game's gonna be a dick to you, you be a dick to it. You think Merkland just might be hell? That's what I thought, but then people told me that apparently Merkland is like a, a location in five. I thought it was just them censoring hell. because we have speed max. There we go. Yeah, battle that were cheats, you cheat back. Time for Buster Max. Not yet. Not yet. You piece of shit. The only reason I stuck around for this fight is because I wanted to save the goddamn green mystery data. Because I like, oh, we're pretty deep in. That mystery data is probably going to be pretty good. And of course he destroys it. Asshole. Get lasered. Man, this is going far worse than I uh, anticipated. <laughs> this area is kicking my ass. A hundred zenny! Goddamn cheapskates. Reach Undernet 5. Okay, wait. It's, it, reach Undernet 5 and there's a picture of base on that achievement. I don't... I don't know about this one, guys. Is this, uh... Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, buddy, how you doing? What's going on up there? It's the boy. <laughs> I keep forgetting to turn off that YouTube sub thing that keeps showing up. John Merkland is in Nebula's hideout in some random mountain no one cares about. <laughs> okay.
God damn it, I forgot. I'm just, I, I'm just, I think I'm just getting really pissed off. I think I just need to calm down a little bit. Absolutely planned out double delete. Oh good, HP, thank god. <laughs> Guess what? You can't even get all the way through Undernet 5 without all double souls unlock. Yep, I figured. I, I had no intention of going over there right now anyway, so... <laughs> now we gotta go back. My favorite layout. I just, I gotta get rid of that fucking spider. Oh god, oh god, oh god! God damn it, of course they moved down. They both slid, of course they did. Okay, we got this. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're, 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 we're fine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Max HP. This is- that is a dog shit encounter. The way they slide around on the ice, so it's basically impossible to predict when they're gonna shoot. Because they're just moving too fast. That's some, uh... That's some shit right there. Do you want to use the health patch card again? I guess I'm trying to hold out. Trying to hold out until additional playthroughs. While you're in the area, you can open that queue. Oh, right, the... Right. Is there anything else over here? Did I go this way? Yeah, no, here we go. HP memory, good. Constantly saving. Okay, wait, let's go back. And open the thing, and then we will go check out that other path. I love that battle chip so much. <laughs> God, I wasn't sure if I had to talk to that guy again or something. Yeah, they just get evaporated. The <laughs> the the Gundel Soul EX completely destroys them. Absolutely zero chance to get wrecked. Oh, do I have to talk to the prog to make the shortcut, not the guy? Oh, for fuck's sake. I figured it just wasn't showing up. I never really used Gundel Soul since it was uh, so laggy and thought it was inconsistent when guys move around. I agree that it's inconsistent when guys move around. Like, it's really good for... Uh, one, that's why the EX is better, because it's got all the... it's got all that range. 
And two, it's infinitely more useful for viruses than it is for uh, bosses who are usually teleporting a shitload and moving super fast while they're attacking you. You have to be very careful when you're using it with uh, bosses. Oh, this is the- I remember this. This is the slider room. Okay, I do remember this area. I don't remember the layout, but I remember this area existing. More HP memory. They know. They know where you are. They're like, let's have a couple HP memories. Of course, I get the gun- <laughs> I get the, the super gun dozzle and I cannot use it. Two still goes the same distance. That's oh, right, I do thirty damage now. I actually forgot. If you want to do the Baktai question, you might drum jack in from Netfrica. Uh, not tonight. Uh, I'm gonna have to get off in about 20 minutes, actually. So I was just, uh, collecting a bunch of stuff in the undernet that we hadn't collected yet. Getting some chips we didn't have. Stuff like that. Why is Mega Man Red? Mod cards. The Legacy Collection has a bunch of mod cards you can activate, and some of them do things like, uh, change Mega Man's color, stuff like that more superfluous things, as opposed to the, uh... Ah, I thought I could get him in time. Uh, as opposed to the power-up mod cards, which give you, like, extra health, extra buster stuff, uh, lets you activate the souls ahead of time. Whole bunch of shit. Six soul unisons needed for that door. I assume that's what that means. Of course it was a virus! <laughs> what else would it be? <laughs> Don't break that mystery data, you piece of shit. Don't do it! <laughs> to the front. There we go. Burn, you little shit. Burn. What have we here? What's What, what are people saying on the, the dark web? Elmperer. Ah, that's the little guys are called. Shaman was deleted. Hmm, I wonder. Django? What's a comic book character doing in the cyber world? Ah, yes. Further adding to the confusion of the Battle Network games and whether other video games actually exist in that universe or not. Like all the Mega Man merch you see all over the fucking place. There's two little slurs here for this to be the dark web. <laughs> oh. Oh, I found old Hayden Joe! Everybody's favorite Mega Man character. Oh, it's a lotto number. Ah, fuck off. You didn't see it, but I like how there's a guy who's like, somebody help me. 
I used the dark chip and now I'm <laughs> I'm going to check it right now. And everyone just cheat posts him. D does that, anyone know where Sh Shape Man is? I can't can't take the dark chip withdrawal pain. Somebody give me a dark chip. Wow, again, this drug metaphor, really subtle. It sounds like your soul's been overcome with Evo. You've probably fallen out of this world by now and are wondering about the never-ending Inferno in Hades. As for Shade Man, I hear he was deleted. All will pass of evil weed to the same place. Thanks, buddy. I did it. <laughs> You've been overcome Sex by Evo because you have a weak soul. I use a dark chip, but my soul is strong. <laughs> Still, when my HPs are almost gone, my dark soul appears and I turn into a deleting In machine. Tempo, where were we? Fucking Losing my memory. No one ever said evil was easy. What a piece of shit. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Fuck you. This game sucks. The drug metaphor is a lot on the nose in the BNXS anime. Very on, it's, it's very on the nose here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, got a couple more minutes here, and I need to get ready to go. Let me see if I can at least finish looking through this area for any blue mystery data or anything. Y'all got any of them dark chips? <laughs> Jim, thank you for the sub. I do like, that was a very realistic internet interaction because a person was talking about having horrific withdrawal and the internet's response was, eh, sucks to suck, huh? I could get him, he moves too quick. There we go. Fifteen fucking hours. We haven't even completed one playthrough yet. Fifteen hours. My last unlocker. Guardian Zero. How much more bearable is four on the collection? Um, if you were using the mod cards and Buster Max and everything, it would be way better. There's a similar interaction in Battle Network 2 where someone sees base and is like his aura was so strong. I fired my strongest chip at him, but my high cannon bounced right off. And every other post is just greater than implying high cannon is strong. <laughs> My face when. <laughs> oh, of course, I, did, I just noticed that he's on. There's a steel panel there, so I can't. Duh. I wasn't even paying attention. That absolute bullshit. Okay, and he did die. I thought it was just gonna destroy the bomb again like it did last time. I was about to be pissed. <laughs> Sheep, dickhead. Whoa, oh, yeah, no, not gonna, not gonna touch that right now. Oh, this is the bug frag trader.
There's a fucking giga chip. You need a hundred bug frags. A hundred. 